Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Wednesday. It's April 12th. This will be our chart lesson for the day, and really, for all intents and purposes, this was a range day. We did trade down in the overnight, but really, from the open on for the rest of the day, we were in a trading range. Uh, we spent most, uh, well, a couple of hours of the morning almost flat, just within a couple of points there. And then we dropped down and went a little bit lower before we rallied back and we ended up closing um, down a little bit. So, uh, but I'd characterize this as a range day. Um, you had this big leg down and then we just kind of went sideways. Generally what's going to happen there is when you do succeed on a breakout, you're going to go lower. Uh, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, I'd measure this first leg. You can see that first leg and then you bring it over. And you can see that um, we missed a measured move by a couple of ticks there. We just couldn't get down there. They tried a couple of times, and uh, it ended up trying a few more times, but it never could. This was really kind of your support resistance line here on the low end. And I would also measure it up here, and then you drop it down, and that would be your target. So uh, there's a couple of different ways to get it. Uh, we went a little bit lower than that. You'd have been closer with this uh, target than you would the, the measured of, measurement of the trading range up here. And, uh, but sometimes it's a little hard to get exactly, you know, so as long as you're close, you know, you want to get out a tick or two before ahead of time. If you'd have done that, you'd have probably been okay with either one of those targets. So uh, just keep that in mind. Let me get these out of the way. We'll talk about the trades and it won't take long today. There's not a lot of them, but um Really, early on, you had to play the range. Really, the whole day, you had to play the range. Um, you did have a trend working down, and you did have a trend working back up. So, um, But really, for the most part, we were playing the range. So, uh, First trade I saw was just after the regular open. We, we just kind of went sideways early there. Uh, the la you know, When I came in, we were already going sideways. Um, I like this one simply because there's a double test of this high here. Um, I originally had the, oops. You never get the line to go where you want it to go. I originally had it down here, and you can see um, we pushed up there, and then we came back and we double tested. You, got a, you actually ticked higher and then went down and went out the other side of this bullish bar here. So at that point, you were looking for it to go lower. I like that to make a new low. Um, it was an easy scalp, and then it just went sideways after that. Um, there's no real reason to get long in here yet. Um, we do have a close outside this line and a new low. Um, and you had a little channel working up here, but you already had a break and a move to a new high. So, uh, you know, you weren't really necessarily looking for to get long or actually I'll take that back early on once you made your new low here and then you had this somewhat of a reversal pattern I like going long there uh, notice your new low you get a first entry second entry it fails that's a trap and a reversal so I like that one unfortunately it was good for a scalp only and that's it and then you get a trap to the upside notice this first entry pull back second entry and by that time you're just kind of going sideways and we traded down into this, so I'm definitely not getting long into those highs right there. Um, it's not worth uh, not worth getting long into those highs. So when it turns up and fails, uh, and you get this trap, I like going short there, uh, just enough to get out. And then you just kind of keep going sideways, and from that point on, it's just getting tighter. So I didn't feel like you wanted any more entries until you had the little failed break lower. Notice this line would have been up here now, and you get this little failed break lower. You got enough room to get out, so I like going long. That's what you got to do. You got to get long close to the lows or close to the highs, or short close to the highs, I should say. Let me back up and long close to the lows. Uh, when you start getting long or short in the middle here, you may get burned, so look for them off the highs and lows. And these failed breakouts, you want to catch them if you can because generally, uh, they lead to major lows and highs. This one looked like it was going to lead to a major low, but it turns out it leads to a high when it breaks out. And if you catch that, you catch the high of the morning. And you get to ride this all the way down. So you want to try to catch those if you can. Um, 
but yeah, we bounced here and then we failed out the upper side. So you want to go short there. Uh, you don't really have room if you wait for a high or low or uh, a lower high on these. So by the time you get a lower high, you're right back into the lows. But notice we get that trap here. We had the failed breakout on both sides, which generally will lead to a move at some point. So while this one, you got to be sensitive of these lows. This one's really down here. Um, I felt like this one was worth taking because it's a trap after a failed break out the top. Uh, notice the new eye, pull back first entry, pull back second entry. It does confirm that trend line. The first two set the line. This one confirms it. Fairly bearish bar. You might let it break lower and try to get a little better entry. You could have gotten a couple in, in a couple of ticks back. Um, but either way, it still worked. It did end up bouncing down here, and even though you come off that trend line again with a pretty bearish bar, you could argue to treat this like a failed second entry short uh, or a failed second entry long because this is a double top, and it is off the trend line, but it's right into those lows. I don't think you want to risk it. I'd just skip it. Um, and we come on down, then we come sideways back. Uh, it looks like you're going to get a nice setup here. Uh, but I'm not, I'm, there's too much sideways there, not enough room, really movement. We're just kind of going sideways. So just sit tight and wait. And then finally you get a break of this trend line. You get a, a double top on a double test of the breakout area. Fairly bearish bar, I like going short there. And at this point you're looking for your two measured moves that I showed you early. And either way, if you would used either one for a target, you'd, you'd have been perfect. Um, you want to get out a couple of ticks ahead of your target, especially a secondary target like the longer target here. Um, I would have started as my first target as the lower side of the range. So you probably would have exited here, but you might have hung on a little longer. I, personally, I'm going to exit and look for another entry. Uh, we do start going up here, but you don't really get your reversal pattern until it backs up here. And by that time, you got another trend coming down. So there's... You don't really want to go short there, but when you get this second, that's basically two legs down, and you get a nice reversal bar here. I like going long right there. Um, and really, you had this trend line off the highs, and I drug it down to here originally. Uh, but when we push down and we bounced here again, um, I moved my line on down. It fit, and so that led me to believe there's got to be a midline, and it turns out there is a midline. So, but, but notice that you get this double test of this trend line working off these lows here, uh, and you get that trap. So I like going long there uh, as well. And that runs up. We still aren't back to the highs yet. You can see this high side. So notice that's a new low. There's a first entry short, pull back second entry short. Not a very good signal bar. It is a failure, so you could treat it like a trap. It is off the EMA. But it's kind of in the middle of the channel. You aren't to your high, you aren't to your low. But what that's telling you is, hey, we probably want to push up one more time. So when you hit that short trap, uh, I like going long there, just thinking it'll probably go back to the upper side before it reverses. And that's exactly what it does. because that's And that's basically two legs up to a new high. And there's a uh, lower high here coming off that high, but um, I didn't like entering there. You're going sideways too much there. Uh, and then you get the failed second entry long. It's not a great signal bar. It's very close to the trend line. There's been no break of it yet. So I'm not even crazy about that one this late in the day. You can argue for it, though, if you want to be aggressive. So I did mark it green. Turns out it's a nice trade, but uh, it's a little risky that late in the afternoon, especially without it pushing through the EMA first and without a break of this trend line because it, it could have easily touched that trend line and reversed and went higher. We do have an overshoot here a little bit, so a lot of times that will lead to the break. So that would have maybe given you a little more encouragement to go short there. So, okay, sorry, I had an uh, interruption there. Um, I think we were talking about this last trade. But yeah, I, you know, it's a little bit aggressive. I don't like it because it's right into the trend line. Uh, it is somewhat of a reversal pattern. It didn't really push through and close below the EMA. 
Um, I think it's a little risky, so I'd probably skip it that late in the day. So, but otherwise, most of these trades were fairly straightforward if you just uh, were patient. And this is where you got to really be patient. I guarantee you, a bunch of you probably got whipsawed right there. And once you realize it's getting tighter and going sideways, just stay out of it until you get one of these failed breaks like so. And while this doesn't look like a failed break here at the time, all the lows are right here, so you can see it is a failed break. Uh, but regardless, it's a chance to get short at the very lows with the room to get out. Where if you're getting, you know, what happens is people keep thinking they're, they think it's a trap to the long side. They go short, then they think they got trapped to the short side, and they reverse and go long. And next thing you know, you get whipsawed and stopped out no matter which way you go. So just stay out of that until you get these failed breaks or a little bitty tiny bar real close to the lows or highs or something like that. And... Uh, that makes it a whole lot easier so uh, you don't sit there and get whipsaw. Anytime, I say this a lot, I hadn't said it recently probably, but anytime you're unsure of what prices are doing, just sit on the sidelines. And the reason being because if you aren't sure what prices are doing and you try to enter, you're just gambling. And gamblers don't make it in this business. We're not gamblers. We, we, we wait for calculated, we take risks but we wait for calculated risk where the odds are on our side. And that's what our price action rules do. They put the odds on our side. So when you don't know what's going on, you're, you know, remember you're gambling and uh, you won't be a gambler long in this business. I promise you, you will lose your money. Um, you'll just hand your money over to somebody that's more disciplined and is not a gambler and it's taking the calculated risk. So, don't be a donator. That's my rule. Is um, you know this this is a zero sum game. So for every winner, there's a loser. So somebody has to be wrong. Somebody has to be a donator. But our preference is we're not donators. We're we're the uh, we're the don't. What what would that be? The don't donees. We don't want to be a donor. We want to be a donee. I don't know if that's correct or not. I'd have to, <laughs> some of you English teachers can uh, correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to wrap it up for today. Uh, a little bit of uh, fun there at the end, but I'm going to wrap it up. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next.